Welcome to this tech tip tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a really cool Google Slides extension called Slip In Slide. Um, but before I get started, a lot of people had questions about uh, how to record yourself with this cool, awesome circle down here. This is a free program. You can pay to upgrade it, yada, yada. It's called Loom, so check it out. Here we go. You want to go into um, the Google App Store and find this extension. It is called Slip In Slide. I will post a link to this uh, in the description, but I'm gonna click Install. I'm gonna give it, give it permission for the things that it needs. And there we go, it's done. So I have this awesome document that I want to use with my students, but I don't want to give them the whole document at once. On Monday, we're going to talk about states of matter. So on Monday, I only want them to have this slide. But I also don't want to take up their whole Google Classroom feed with lots of different slides. This is where slip and slide comes into play. So I can assign them one slide on Monday. And then using slip and slide, I can add another slide on the following day to the same presentation without deleting anything, without having to repost it. I'm going to show you how. I have created this generic uh, slides. This is a template from Slides Mania. I'll also link that um, in the description. But this is what I want to start with. Monday, new unit, new week, we're starting here. So my first thing is I'm going to assign this in Google Classroom. So here's my Google Classroom. Going to go to the Classwork tab and create an assignment. Slip and slide example is what I'm titling it. And I'm going to add that document from my drive. Here's my properties of matter. It's important that you make a copy for each student. And I'm going to assign it. Perfect. I only have one student in my class, it's me, but this is an example of my work. There's no other slides in it. To assign the slides that you want, go to the slides that you uh, want to send out. So I'm back to my teacher um, work that I want to send to students. You're going to go to add-ons. And slip and slide should show up. There we go. It should automatically pop up like this. If it doesn't, what I went to was get add-ons and I searched slip and slide. Now it's there. I have just refreshed my page and now you're going to go to add-ons and you're going to click slip and slide. Then click start. And it's not working. Okay, there we go. Um, it will come up with this uh, pop up that tells you you have a 90 day free trial. You're going to press OK. After the 90 days, I believe it's $9. Uh, to buy this, but it's a lifetime subscription to it. For me, it is so worth the $9. Here's one tip. If you join um, before your 90 days is up, you get 15% off. So I paid $8.50. I don't know if $9 was the total. I don't teach math. But anyway, here we go. So I've done all that. I'm going to go to add-ons. I'm going to go to slip and slide. And the first time I'm going to do this, I'm going to start with the very first thing that says, select a single folder in Google Drive. You're going to select the folder that has your document in it. So it's bringing up folders from Google Classroom. And if you remember, the assignment that I made was slip and slide example, and I put my document in there for my students. So I'm going to select that folder. And it's going to take a little bit. 
I think that the more classes that you have, or the more students that you have in your class, I should say, it's going to take longer. So I only had one student. It's done. Okay, my next step. Again, I'm going to go to add-ons, slip and slide, and then click the next thing, new high-speed version of slip and slide. This is where you're actually going to do the work. So notice I'm on the document that has the information that I want to send to students. Here's my student work that doesn't have anything else in it. I want to send this slide, just this one, not the rest of them in my presentation, just this one to students for today. Add-ons, slip and slide, and the new. Do you remember that? In this document, you can see that this is slide three. So I'm going to start with slide three, and I'm going to end with slide three because I only want them, students, to have that one slide. I want this to be after my title page. I want it to be down here. So I'm going to put the slide at the end. That's all I do. Give it a second. And now it says, you can see that I'm the only student in this class. If you have 20 students, all of them would list here. That slide has been added to the presentation. So if I go to my classroom and I view I'm just going to go to that folder and I'm opening that student's work. Look what's there. Pretty cool. I'm going to show you how to do it again. Um, let's say now this time it is Tuesday and Tuesday we're talking about magnetism. This slide is slide eight. So I'm going to click add ons, slip inside, new. I want to send slide eight, but I only want to send slide eight. So just slide eight, and I want it to be after the last slide. And there you go. You can send multiple slides like with this. Boom, updated. Pretty cool. If you have any questions, um, leave me a them down below and I will respond as fast as I can. I really think that this is going to change how we use Google Slides in the future. Um, again, it's free for 90 days, but personally as an educator, it was worth paying for it. Um, yeah, thanks.